she's been buried for a hundred years. Now, she's awake. And she could really use a drink. Please give me my blood. We don't give blood. We take it. Her doctor thinks he has a diagnosis. You seem to have some kind of slow virus. It's a virus that I'm not familiar with. Her ex-lover wants her back. You belong to darkness and you belong to me. Why do you resist? I buried myself for 100 years to get away from you. Can't you take the hint? How far will a doctor go to treat his patient? Did I tell you we made love in a coffin? Oh, Jolie, you look wonderful. A little snack, maybe? Good to see you. You're feeling well this evening. Sorry to hear that. Can the doctor save her? I will enjoy killing you slowly. Miriam Dabo stars with Ben Cross and Keith Sharabaika in Nightlife. I'll take a light. Blood light. <laughs> From the special effects masters who brought you Hellraiser and Hellbound. Now bring you Hellgate. There are mysteries we have yet to solve, and horrors we have yet to imagine. Where our darkest nightmares join our deepest fears. Beyond our world lies a forbidden realm. Where does this road go? Hellgate. The realm of the undead. How can you see what you cannot believe? How can you kill? What cannot die? Take this, you zombie! Yeah. Oh, shit. Hellgate.
me another brew, pal. No. Yes. Drink us, buddy. Hey, what are we here for? <laughs> so where's the party? Come on, where do you think? What is this place? Honey, don't worry. Nobody comes here, okay? It's private. Roger, I don't know. This is really weird. Joni, this is old man Flanders' property. I mean, so what? Who cares? Funeral home? Oh, great. Very romantic. Why don't you guys try and get romantic and put another tape in? Maybe we better not. Oh, <laughs> she's scared we're gonna wake the dead. There's nobody here but us. Stiffs. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> you dick. What the fuck are you looking at? Ah, uh, nothing. I, I didn't see a thing. Put this on. Great. It's the amoeba from biology. Get an eyeful, Archie. Put this the fuck on. I will. Well, I was just uh, taking out the leftovers. Oh, that's sick. Oh, it's okay. I work here. <laughs> oh. He works here. Yeah, what do you do, Archie? Get off on corpses? Let it go. He's harmless. Aren't you, Archie? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, don't let me break up the party. Fast times at Walgren High. Huh? Hey, asshole. Who, me? What's in the bucket? Nothing that would turn you on, I promise. What'd you say? Okay, that's it. Thanks for another fun evening. All you do is get drunk and start fights. Yeah, Rod, she's got a point. Fine. Got it, guys. I'll see you later. Drive carefully. Let's go. You're dead meat, buddy. Penthouses. What? 
You see something you like? Hey, no. Uh, she's yours. Oh, do I look like a pervert? Listen, you little corpse fucker. You look at a cross eye just once. Mind scratched. Get it? Got it. Good. The dude is such a jerk. You short. What do you want? Hey! Keep in touch. Why? <laughs> Problem. I'm surprised you're alive. Ah, uh, they're retarded. I have bigger things to deal with anyway. You know, you're just making a victim out of yourself. Why do you want to work at a mortuary anyway? You think it's weird I'm working there too? Yeah. Why don't you just quit? Verlin's my uncle, okay? Uncle Verlin. Before he died, my dad was his partner. Your mother wants you to be an undertaker. The meat wagon's out front. Well, what I'm gonna be is my own business. Look, my dad gave Flanders half the business and made him promise to pay for college. But I've gotta work at the mortuary through high school. Why? That was the deal. You know my mother can't pay for tuition. I work there through June, Verlin pays. If I quit, the deal's off. If I get fired, the deal's off. You know, I wouldn't trust your Uncle Verlin as far as I could spit. You're never going to see that money. Yeah, I'd better see that money. It's my only way out of here. <laughs> your hair's fine, buddy. I know. Yeah, we got to meet Jenny in like 10 minutes. Hey, my hair! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Play with your own hose. Aw, oh, what's wrong? Don't make fun of Dykes, Raj. It's not nice. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like a girl with grease under her nails. You know, you're pretty hot, Charlie. Fuck off. I like a woman who knows how to drive the big rigs. Leave her alone. Why aren't you? I believe something's got your temper up. You gonna make me? Get back here. Wait a minute. Where's Charlie? You're just gonna be stuck here for the rest of your life, aren't you? Why don't you just hit it? Hit it! What are you gonna do, Charlie? Come on, hit it! Hey, cool it, man! 
Shit. You're making a mistake, Charlie. Cool it. Why don't you just smash it, Charlotte Marie? What are you afraid of? Come on, Charlie. She didn't do nothing. Come on, Charlie. I'll be back. I'll be here. God, they are like mutations. The whole high school's like that. Mutations are us. <laughs> That's your ma'am. the right tools. Cheap bastard Flanders hires him right out of high school. Francis, isn't it? I know it's Francis. This is Francis's stuff, the stuff in the suitcase. No, 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 no. The stuff in the suitcase, that's, uh, that's what, wait a Uh, hell, we've got to go with what we got. You keep things better organized around here. Get out of here! You're only slowing me down. Fine with me. He won't go for it. Kiwi, Joni, did you see his face the other night? I mean, he was looking at you. He was looking at Roberta. No way. He thinks you're hot. He said so in class. That's just the way he talks. He's a brain, Roger. It was a joke. Oh, and guys with brains don't have any sex drive? What about me? Maybe he has a sex drive, but it's too high. It's in his head. Well, maybe you want to go to the dance with somebody else, then. Roger. That's not what I mean. Okay, then. Here's what you do. Ah, oh, great. Aren't 
Gee, what a surprise. Uh, you appear to be hitchhiking. You appear to be driving a hearse. I have to stop at Flanders first. Um, then I guess I'm dropping you somewhere. The mortuary? Well, you don't have to go in. No. I'd like to. I've never been in one before. I wouldn't broadcast this if I were you. What? Well, our, our little excursion here. Okay. So, do you have any cool tapes? Stop in for a moment, and that's it. In and out. Anything you say. Oh, uh... Archie, I think you're very sexy. <laughs> Joni, come on. Archie, what about your errand? This isn't right. Go inside, okay? Archie, maybe you should turn on some lights. Welcome to my place of business. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Gracie Whitlock, the car show lady? Yeah. Have you ever seen a dead person before? She looks like she's still alive. What's this? It's an embalming needle. It goes in the neck. The needle's connected to the suction pump. See, the pump replaces the blow with formaldehyde. Simple. Archie, that's gross. You got a point. Not very comfortable. Uh, Joni, I don't think you should be in here. What's upstairs? An apartment. Aha. Uh -huh. Off limits. Flanders stays there when things get busy. Well, he's not there now, is he? Uh, no. Or maybe we should get busy. Oh, my God. Maybe we shouldn't. Joni, come on. Archie, wait. It's too soon.
Actually, not now. Don't stop. Damn it, Flanders. We gotta get out of here. Move! Archie! Shit. Uh, I'm up here, Uncle Verlin. Hi. What are you doing up there? I, I was just cleaning your apartment. Will you come down and unchain this door? What do you lock it for? I'll be right down. Hurry up. Why don't you take me to the dance tonight, Arch? I think we make a hot couple. Shh, you know I'm about to be fired. Archie! What the hell is he doing here, sir? Archie! Coming. We're in big trouble. Gracie, what's your name? Whitlock. Huh? Uh, she's in the cooler. How does she look? She looks good, like she's sleeping. Well, your son is coming over in ten minutes. Give her a little blush. Make sure she's clean. I'm going to fix up the chap. He's going to be here in 10 minutes now. Make her nice. Wow. You can do it now. Shh, just relax. Just relax. Give me that rope. Come on, hurry up. Don't forget to pick me up for the dance, dead meat. What? to see my, mo my mother. Good to see you, Randy. Huh? Where are you holding up? <laughs> I've been better. How is uh, mother? Better than we could understand, Randy. She was a great woman. Where? Oh, this is Archie Melville. Mr. Whitlock. Oh. Archie is my assistant. Thank you for displaying these models for us, Archie. Much longer. Ten minutes. Thank you. We'll see you shortly. And Archie, please take care of this gurney. Thank you. Thank you. Gee, I, I think I've caught you a little short here. No time is too short, Randy. Come to my office. Randy, perhaps we could go over some options. John F. Kennedy. Oh. Maybe you saw it on TV. Solid brass hardware, matched grain cherry, hand rolled silk interior, double zinc liner, top of the line. Last for eternity. I think this is a bit premature. Oh. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Take a look at our keystone. It's less expensive. There are limitations on the length of its usage, though. But it's uh, it's very popular. My mother is a was a big woman. Is this the right uh, range? Oh, not to worry. We hold a bear.
have seen her then. It's a beautiful woman. Elegant, refined. Oh, I could just see her for a moment. Ah! Uh, would you care for a touch? Do you have a more recent picture? Something in the last uh, ten years? No, no, no. She was so bloated, we we didn't want to take any pictures of her. No. Is there any way you could deflate her her face? We've done that. We've done that many times. I don't remember your father coming here. I couldn't put her next to that son of a bitch. You know, we could make an arrangement. Is he in the backyard, actually? It's better not talked about. This one will do right. I promised her. chance to do much for her preparation wise my assistant has touched her up well uh where 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 is she well uh, he should be here any moment with her i think he's here now <clears throat> archie um what are you doing uh why don't you bring in uh mrs whitlock uh i'm working on it sir i'm, ha I'm having some trouble with her Trouble? What do you mean? I think he's got her on his back. Help me. Is this how you usually move bodies? Help me. It's an old embalming trick. It helps circulate the formaldehyde if you walk them a little. What? What are you doing? Uh, she, she fell off the cart. Fell off the cart? Yeah. Well, I was taking her in for viewing and she just fell off. Yeah, so you just, you just carried her on your back? I wonder if she's been damaged. Oh. She looks fine, Randy. I think we should call a doctor in, in, in case she's been hurt. Certainly that's not necessary, is it? She's departed. Certainly, I'm qualified. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, look at her, Berlin. Look, she's still in her hospital clothes. Oh. I don't know what is going on around here, but I think that it is unprofessional and sick. Randy. Trust me. Sit down. Listen. What? You're fired. Take that quarter. Call a good lawyer. You'll need one after I'm through with you. But Uncle Berlin, listen. Don't you, Uncle Berlin, me, you lying sack of shit. Seven thousand. $100 in lost business you owe me. Say nothing of what it'll cost when this town finds out what happened. But it wasn't me. You can kiss college goodbye. 
I, I, I can prove it wasn't me. I don't want to see you in here ever again. I, I can prove it was those kids. The prove is that you're a disgrace to your father. Those fucking airheads are getting away with this. Hi, honey. They called me and I'm back on night shift again, but it's only till the end of the week. I left some money on top of the fridge. Treat yourself to a pizza. Oh, there's a letter from you from the admissions office. I put it on top of the piano. I've got my fingers crossed. I sure hope you and Uncle Verlin are getting along better. You just have to hang in there a little longer, honey. I gotta run. Bye. College. Uncle Verlin, you suck. I have no girl. I have no car. I have no future. <sighs> Eat this fucking place. What, Verlin? All right, listen carefully. I need you. Get the station wagon and meet me at the intersection of the old post road and Highway 4 immediately. You got that? I, I thought I was fired. We'll talk about that. Just bring four kids with you. Four? There's been an incredible accident. <laughs> Say again? <laughs> Verlin, hello. You hear? Get over here! 
Defibrillator, now! We really shouldn't be back at the morgue for this, you know. I appreciate it, Fred. Crying shame about those kids, huh? Yeah, too bad. God, what a waste. I'll fill out the names that I want to hold you. Alright. Okay, we got Alan Palumbo, Roger Davis, Bernard Woods. Weren't there four? What? Sorry to bother you, Archie, but I'm obviously up to my ass in stiffs. Bad break all the way around. Bad break? Hey, take this one, too. Name? Joan Snowland. Joan Snowland. Four for four. I understand you knew these people. I wish I could say I gave a rat's ass. But I don't. Just gotta get back on your horse. Control your emotions. And do your job. This is your last chance. I strongly suggest you don't blow it. And the choice is yours. You can just do it, or you can run. Not walk out of here right away. This ought to get it draining. Give me all this quickly. We're gonna need a lot of wax for his face. Make a note. This one over here will need a new right ear. His right nostril is split. Maxillary work, maybe stock dentures or a break and replace the jaw. We got our work cut out tomorrow. She looks pretty good. Took good care of herself. Those good teeth. Stuck in her teeth. Rush, rush, rush. Okay, put your finger there, Archie. We're gonna tie this puppy off. There we are. Wrong. She's alive. Listen, the mirror, get the mirror. Here. No. No, there's nothing. Well, her eyes were moving. Nah, it happens sometimes, doesn't mean a thing. Well, what if you're wrong? Don't be ridiculous, she's dead. Here, hold the gurney, let me show you something. I want you to look. Before, aren't you? The head is completely unplugged. Only the skin is holding it on. The movement? Well, that happens all the time. Sometimes the muscles just don't know when to quit. Here, take this. Take it. You know what to do with it. I want them pumped and drained by tomorrow. 
in your hands now. I see somebody trying to do his best. I'll do anything for him. Okay? You fuck up this time, and it's over. Pump and drain. I'm doing fine. Flanders still on your back? Always. Why don't you stop by after work for a couple beers? I want to tell you something. Okay, sure. Great. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Turn off that goddamn spook music. Oh, damn it, oh! Oh! You plugged that leak yet? I really won't know until you get the pump back on, but you're gonna get some condensation. I don't want condensation. <laughs> don't want these damn clothes ruined either. Jesus. Condensation. Jesus D. God. job, but not just any old job. I'm going to be going to South Carolina to work on race cars. We'll stock actually in a pit crew. Um, we're going to be making a tour of the Eastern Circuit, Daytona. Oh. Hi, baby. All set? Yeah. Archie, this is John Devlin. John, this is Archie Melville. Hi, glad to meet you. Your name is Archie? Well, I hope I uh, didn't interrupt something here. Oh, no, no. Archie and I are really good friends. He works at the funeral home. Oh, hey. There's a real underrated specialty. Most normal people couldn't stomach that. I'm not quite ready for your services myself, though. <laughs> well, I hope not. Um, look, when are you coming back? When am I coming back to this place? I don't know, Archie. I mean, that's a real good one. Well... I mean... God, I'm... So sudden. Well, when opportunities come, you gotta take them. It's like you in Flanders, you know? Why don't I, uh... let you two say your goodbyes? Do you want me to pack this up? Yeah, thanks. All right. Archie? Good luck with your career. Is he a friend? I don't know. All I know is that he offered me the greatest job in the world. Look, 
Um, it's, it's about that time. I, I gotta go. Charlie, I don't want this to be happening like this. You cannot just run off. John and I were gonna head out after dinner. No. I mean, well, we need to talk. I'll, I'll give you a call, okay? Maybe we could get together later, all right? Sure. Well, I turned it off. I thought it might blow a circuit. Hello? Hello? Jesus, it's about time. What's going on over there? The whole unit's acting weird. The drawer latches aren't holding, and I have a feeling some vandals are screwing around. I'm tired around. of bending over backwards to pay through the nose. You get that asshole back over there immediately. And I don't want any more of your bullshit about those damn vandals. Just get him back over there. We want this corrected now. Do you read me loud and clear?
I can't hear a word you're saying. Uh, affirmative, Uncle Verlin. I understand. I want solutions, Archie. Solutions! Hello? You know, this is double time. Well, it's kind of an emergency, okay? Cheap is cheap, you know what I mean? Plan is sure to replace the pipe when I told him to. with these connections in here. I sure didn't touch it. Well, no, look how bent it is. Oh, no. Oh, why don't you empty these things first, huh? Frank, look out! What? Ow! Oh, don't do that to me, Archie. I, I saw her move. Oh, she moved, huh? Her hand, I'm not kidding. Heat. 45 degrees in there. The bodies are on a roller coaster. What? Here, look. Watch this. Heat. That's all it is. You want to see some movement. Well, it gets to be about 50 in there. And we'll really have a party. All right, let's get cooking. Hey, you want something to drink? Yeah. Hey, how about some of Flanders Special Reserve? The expensive stuff. I'm a hard-working guy. How's it going? Great. Take it. It's done. Ah. Let's crank it up. Yeah, you see that? I love it. Maybe we should call an electrician. Maybe I should get that drink. The clamp needs a few more turns. I put a wrench on it, but I... Maybe you could reach it. Yeah, you're smaller. Yeah, you do it. I'll reset the breaker. No, 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 I'll reset the breaker. No, I don't mind. Frank. Thanks a lot. Finish working, I'll drive you home. If you think I'm going back in there, you're crazy. Well, at least would you wait in the garage? Look, let's just split, okay? I can't leave my tools. Fine, fine. You go back in there, I'm staying right here. You're such a pussy.
It's Archie. I need help. Call the police. The police. It's Archie at the mortuary. No! telling you, you're going to see discipline in action. Merle, don't go in there. They're alive. That's scum. You don't understand. That's what I wish they had never been born. The bedroom. Don't go in the bedroom. No.
Charlie, I, I thought you split. I'm not going anywhere. What? He was a real asshole. Get down. Archie, what happened to you? Shh. What's going on? Come on, let's get out of here. Uh You sure you're okay? I, I think so. It's okay. <laughs> hey, dude! What you got in there? Some kind of turbo 427 or something? What the hell happened to you? <laughs> Step out of the vehicle, please. Exhale. Out of the car. Shit. So 
what are you gonna do, officer? Shoot me? Move. Come on, breathe.
I'm cold. I'm so cold. Thanks for helping me out back there. I was worried I'd never see you again. I didn't think you could swim. I can't. I drowned. What? We can still be together, Archie. We can always be together. Stay away from me. It's a joke. I'm just joking. Feel me, I'm warm. Come on. I've been searching through the heartland For someone just like you I would walk across the water To get a kiss from you No, I wouldn't need a reason To risk my life I've been dreaming of your soft touch And to share a love
Oh, thank you ever so much for watching another fine late night feature. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed showing it to you. Right, Lightning? Oh, sure, Lightning enjoyed showing it to you, too. <laughs> and what else can I say? We're done. Did you guys hear the one about the two nuns who were painting a room in the convent? And uh, the mother superior told them that they must not get even a drop of paint on their habits. So they talked it over for a while, and they decided to lock the door of the room and strip off their habits and paint in the nude. So they paint for a while, and there's a knock at the door. They say, who is it? And the voice says, blind man. So the two nuns look at each other, and they shrug, and they decide, well, there's no harm in letting a blind man into the room. So they open the door. The guy comes in. And he says, nice breasts. Where do you want these blinds? <laughs> Joe Bob Briggs reminding you that the drive-in will never die. How many women with PMS does it take to screw in a light bulb? Six. It just does. <laughs>